Hey everybody, I'm here live again, and I'm going to be adding, this time I'm getting Doug Reynolds of Low Carb USA to join me as co-host, because we're going to talk about, um, more about this food drive that's just blowing up, so let me, uh, let me invite Doug, um, so he can come on with us here, let's see, and let's see, is it finding him? gonna find him oh good old technology here let's see done invite okay come on come on Facebook you can do it oh oh here we go there we go I sent Doug the invite so he join me here any second or any minute so Doug when you come on um, okay Doug uh, from your phone, you should see like a little blue camera icon at the very bottom. If you click that, that's going to um, ask me to let you to come on and join as a co-host. So um, push that button. I'll get a notification. Then I will approve you to come on here. So Doug and I are going to talk about this, this low-carb food drive, this keto food drive that we are um, that we are starting. I'm going to tell you about why I'm doing this, why it's so um, important to me personally, and then Doug is going to share with us what he's um, got working down there in San Diego too. So um, yeah, Doug, look for that. Um, should be a little camera icon at the very bottom, and I think it's blue, so press on that, and it's going to ask me to let you come on as co-host, and then I will prove that. So um, getting this live co-host thing figured out a little bit better than in the past Last week when I did it, it took 40 minutes for it to work the right way because of, oh, you know, technology. Um, okay, looking for now, and it should be both um, iPhone or Android. It should be um, the little things at the bottom. You should be able to see some kind of a, let me see. Um, and it only, I've, I've learned it only works from a phone you can't do it from a laptop um, and I couldn't even get it to work from an iPad so it looks like it'll work on the mobile version of Facebook from um, Android or iPhone so hopefully hopefully you don't have a Windows phone um, I'm not sure if it works on pixel either I don't know anybody that has that but and um, Doug did a really awesome uh, write-up on their low-carb USA um, website their blog about what's going on so um, okay, so I found an icon that was a camera. Um, let me see if I can. It should be, um, yeah, let me see. Let's see, request. So, yeah, you have to request. I can't, I don't know why it doesn't let me like add you as a co host, but you have to request to be co host. Um, yeah, there should be an image at the bottom. Like along along with like the the laughy thing and the the heart and all that kind of stuff, it should be there on the bottom. Um, and all right, bear with me. Um, I don't know how to send you a photo of what it looks like. Um, oh, uh, um, string together. Okay, so let me see if I can find a little image of. Um, There is, well, that's just showing a picture of what it looks like when we have a co-host. Um, yeah, so what um, what happens if you press the camera icon? Does it just give you a list of who's live? Or um, let me just invite some other people. Um, let's see I don't know what else to let's see um need to find an image for you of what that looks like but it's just in the bottom there with the various things that you have at the bottom so try try turning your phone not horizontal but vertical and see if it pops up then if it changes what icons you can see at the bottom there and okay that's comments that lets me Request co-host so that I can invite people. Um, let's see, I can invite P 
Pam too. Who else do you want to invite? Um, oh, maybe Jillian. Vaughn. Invite me. And yeah, it should be a little um, outline of a blue like video camera thing. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find more. Hi, Tyler. Hey, we're trying to get Doug on here as co-host and, you know, technology and all that kind of stuff. It, you know, when it works, it works. And when it doesn't, it uh, is uh, just a waiting game and a trial of patience and all that. So um, let's see. So Doug's asking, do you have to click play or record after getting great camera place? No, it should be just, um, it should just be <laughs> spins the wheel of invitations. Um, so it should just be, uh, you know, an icon that you press at the bottom and then it, it sends me a request to join me as co-host. So it should look like, you know, it's like a blue outline of a camera, of a video camera. Um, yeah, there should, it should be down where you like the, you know, the thumb up and all the little reaction icons that you, you can use. Should be a little camera one there. So bear with us, we're trying to get dug on as a, uh, uh, host here, we're going to talk about this low carb keto food drive we've got going on. Doug is the um, founder of Low Carb USA, and they do a, a, um, a couple of events per year that are some really fantastic events that focus on um, highlight and feature the best uh, keto researchers out there. So, um, let's see. So, we've got Doug, he's looking for the icon to join. Um, I don't know, Doug, do you want to try to use, if, if Pam's got a phone, sometimes people have to use a different phone. Um, I've got Pam invited, so see if you can come on, look at her phone and see if it shows something different. Um, but it should be, I'm trying to look for an image of what that um, looks like. Um, nope, that's not helping. Um, so, let's see. Oh, I think you found it. Uh, yes, you did. All right. Okay. So, Doug, I just sent the invite to you. So, any. Uh, um, okay. Click the live video first. Okay. Um, gosh, if only I could see what it looked like on here. Someday I'll do this side by side with somebody and then we can figure out, I can figure out exactly what it looks like. So, um, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. So, that's. Um, on my side, I can see you've got a little green um, video icon. So Doug is going to be joining us any minute here as co-host so we can talk about this low-carb keto food drive that we are working on. And through the magic of technology, he will be here momentarily. And Doug is the co-founder, the founder of Low Carb USA. If you guys haven't been to their events in San Diego, you are so missing out. And uh, all right. Here it comes. I know it. Here it comes. Hey, Laura and Vicky. Got the invite there. Any second. Okay, let me try again. I'll send the invite again. Invited. You're invited. All right. Doug is going to be coming on as co host. This is. This is a, it feels like there's breaking news and I've got to fill the air and here, okay, cool. <laughs> right, one more time, third time we're adding. Any minute now, add. Okay, you're invited. We should be having Ma on here. This is, uh, you know, is this like watching paint dry or, you know, waiting for your Instapot to come to high pressure? Um, it's not connecting quite yet. Okay. Um, maybe move to a different area where there's a better signal, maybe? Um, <laughs> and, yeah, I've got you added on here. So live, we've got three people watching. I know one of those is Doug. Um, we've got invited Doug any second now is going to come on as our co-host here, and we're going to be talking about this 
low carb keto food drive, this holiday food drive that I initiated. We're going to talk about, um, we're building an audience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. Uh, it looks like you're, are you on? Okay. Not quite yet. Add again. You know, why doesn't this work really easily? I guess it's new technology. Maybe like two years from now, we're going to laugh about how hard it was. It's kind of like when I think back to, um, you know, the late 90s when I had dial up on my computer and I remember like waiting for a website to load. And it was like line after line after the website loading, how frustrating that was. And and so the same thing is going to be with these um, these features of, of Facebook or anything else online and going live. But now it's so frustrating how you have to try it 17 times. And gosh, last week when I tried to do this, it took 40 minutes for everything, all the stars to line up for it to work. And um, and so maybe in a year from now, we'll be laughing at how much how much uh, struggle and frustration it was to get these things to work correctly. Um, I can tell you I tried, yeah, last week, 40 minutes. <laughs> I tried four different devices and I finally figured it out. And um you know, the turn, turn your device to continue instruction. Oh, so maybe it's just telling you it, it can't do it from the camera that you have facing one direction. Um, I don't know, turn, turn your device to continue. So maybe it just wants you to turn it the other direction. Oh, oh, actually, Doug, I think because if you're this way, you've got to turn it this way. I think that's what it's saying. Um, because I, I think since I started in, um, what landscape mode you might have to do it as well so maybe that's what it's telling you see if that makes a difference <laughs> tyler wants to know why you're why you're watching one direction <laughs> tyler you don't like one direction uh well you know maybe he's watching them because uh they're handsome or uh maybe he likes that kind of music and he just needs something to pick him up on this, uh, what day is it? Thursday? Um, um, yeah, I don't know. Let's try one more time here. Add, invite. It's inviting you. <laughs> um, I, I, there might be one more step. Now that I invited you, then you might have to accept or something like that. All right, one more time. Well, that's like 10 times now. Um, hi, Sam. We're ready. We're trying to get all the stars to line up so we can get my co-host on here. We're going to be talking about this low-carb keto food drive. So um, most of our food banks and uh, food pantries out there are just filled with unhealthy food, frankly, right? Like that's one of those things uh, this time of year when um, parents are like, what do I do with all the leftover Halloween candy? People say like, go donate it to the food bank. And I can tell you from my own experience after being disabled from a car accident when um, I was getting most of my food from a food bank, um, there was tons and tons of pastries and crappy garbage, as Jimmy Moore likes to call it. And, um, and there was very little low carb, um, high protein foods were available for me, but I, I did it anyways. And um, I had dramatic health transformation, just a very short period of time. And so now it's, um, I'm ready to start this movement to give back so that other people that are getting their food from um, food pantries, food banks, depending on where you're at in the country, is um, what they what they call them in your area, um, that, you know, there's options for people. So, you know, keto is a, definitely a movement. Um, it is, you know, the number one diet search term on the internets right now. So it's just surpassed paleo this year. And so people are knowing about it. And um, this will be able to give people an option that if they're low income and they're getting, they're struggling for whatever reason, they're getting their food from the food bank, that um, they can still follow a low carb and keto diet. They don't, they're not stuck with eating, you know, the, the sugar and garbage that normally what's donated. So, um, <laughs> No, no, no. Um, all right, so Pam is watching. I wonder if from Pam's, um, we're getting some thumbs up from that. So, um, hey, Leanna and Philip, um, thanks for joining us. Um, hey, while you're while you're watching, just tell me where you're at in the comments. Like, where are you at in the where are you at in the country? 
uh, what city, state, where are you in the world? Um, wait, we're, we're trying <laughs> the best we can with technology. Uh, uh, okay, so Pam's gonna be sending a request to join. So we're trying, uh, like I said, back to the days of dial up when we you know took forever for things to work and we were really frustrated and so a year from now when this works really easily we'll laugh at how long it took to get this to all line up and work so um doug is going to be coming on as um co-host here we're going to be talking about this low carb food drive that we're um setting up so while while we're getting that sorted out and figured out um people you know just share in the comments like where are you at in the country and okay, Pam's gonna come on. Let's get Pam here. Um, yes, okay, invitation is sent. Um, hey, Christopher. Um, yeah, share with us in your part of the country, like, do you call it a food bank or do you call it a food pantry? So I think it's more like a Midwest and back East, maybe food pantry, but I'm not sure. We're all here in the Seattle area. Oh, finally. Hey, it only took 20 minutes to get you guys on. <laughs> Hey, welcome, welcome. Thank you for everyone who's bared with us, like darn technology. Um, we've got Doug and Pam, the founders of Low Carb USA. Hey, do you guys want to say hi and introduce yourselves? Hi, everybody. We finally made it on. Sorry for the delays. Uh, we've got four or five people on, and now we're going to get going. <laughs> yes. Figured out, you figured out that it, did it just work from your phone and not Doug's phone, or, or what was yes, the magic sauce, or who different. knows, right? Yes, it had a different uh, thing that came up that asked me to request to you that I joined you live, and then I had to scroll down and click on. But that's, uh, okay. that's what I did. But mine, there's there's something funky on mine that it's not allowing it to to rotate, and it needed me to rotate, and so it just it got stuck. Okay, which sometimes <laughs> fun. So too. all of you oh, in Facebook yeah. land, um, maybe this will be a teaching tool for you to do this next time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely had to, uh, I figured out on my side how to work, but it took me 40 minutes the first time I tried to do it. Well, and like four times now of, of trying trial and error to get it to work. So it's not, it's not, and it's different on every phone and device. And so, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. glad you guys are here. Uh, so you guys are joining us from San Diego. Uh, you know, it's always fun. What's the temperature there today? It is a hot Sunny San Diego day, uh, end of October. Our fall will often get a uh, wind shift and come from the desert. So it'll be 99 degrees today. It's a little cooler 99? than 99? It was 100 yesterday. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, in Seattle, it's like 55 and uh, overcast and drizzly day, like a typical fall day for us here. So um, yeah, well, if you could give us about 20 of your degrees, then we'd both be real happy. We would love to share it with you. I understand there's yeah. big storms coming to the northeast, so anybody joining us from Boston, they're getting, they're battening down the hatches because they're getting wind. There's snow coming to Minnesota and North Dakota and uh, freezing temperatures coming, which there'll be frost on the pumpkin, as a friend of mine used to say in New England many years ago. So. Oh, well... <laughs> that's the appropriate for this time of year then isn't it yeah well okay so you guys uh let's talk about this uh food drive um i am you know working on make this a movement and i'll just share really briefly like why this is so important to me um and then i'll have you guys share like what what your vision is what you guys have brewing which which is brewing down there in in the san diego area to help help uh support people that need this so um, yeah, you know, so gosh, what's the math? Uh, three and a half years ago, I was involved in a, is that right? About, um, whatever it is, uh, <laughs> almost three years ago, involved in a really serious car accident where, um, brain injury, crush injuries to my legs. And, um, I was disabled for about a year and a half from that and, and things weren't getting better. They were just getting worse. Um, I was um, getting most of our food from a food bank. My son was working two jobs in restaurants. We live in a, you know, a very expensive suburb of Seattle, and and he was just paying our rent every month. And I was getting most of our food from a local food bank. And if anybody's ever gone into one of those, um, there's a lot of sugar and carbs in there. Like that's the prominent food that's food source. And it's also, I mean, it ends up being what people donate when they donate to food drives, right? As they take out like you know the rice aroni and the ramen noodles and and uh you know their leftover halloween candy and that's what they donate and that ends up being most of what's 
Um, Lonnie's saying, uh, Carol, Doug, Pam, you're great. Thank you so much. Um, Hi, Lonnie. And we are, um, so it's, I, um, out of, you know, but I found a ketogenic diet as a way of healing myself. And I started it when I was still going to the food banks. And I can tell you, it, it, when I first was going, I could leave there with an entire shopping cart full of carby foods, right? Like that's the way that the structure of it was. Um, but when I switched over to not taking the carby foods and going for the foods that fit with a ketogenic diet, there was about only about a quarter of my cart that was full of those foods that was in those foods because there were so few choices that were, you know, high protein, low carb, no added sugar like that, just because those are, aren't the foods that are donated. And yeah. so it was really difficult because I had to bypass the entire wall of, of baked goods that were there, but I did it. And it was a remarkable transformation for my own health. And I know from my own experience of seeing the people that were there and hearing their stories of why they were getting their food at the food bank. And, um, you know, there were some people that had chronic mental illness or chronic health problems. There were other people that um, were more like what I was going through, where it was like a temporary, like really terrible thing had happened. And they had um, you know, diabetes, they had chronic pain, they had mental health issues, and they didn't want to be getting their food there. They wanted to get better, but they didn't have any other options. And so, um, you know, I'm at a place now where I want to give back and, you know, let's help people that are less fortunate that really want to start a low carb and ketogenic diet to be able to have that option. And that even if they can't afford to buy any food at all, that they can still um, make those choices that can start to heal and, and help them experience that um, health transformation. So um, I'm, I've set up a um, food drive. I've got some locations here in the Seattle area, but I want this to, you know, people in Seattle shouldn't just have good health. Everybody in the country and the world should get to have good health. So um, what do you, what do you guys, what's your vision? What do you guys have brewing down, down there in San Diego? Well, I, uh... Carol, I think maybe just take take a step back first, um, and I mean, you you tagged us when you made that Facebook Live um, video. You tagged us on it. Now I didn't see it, but but Pam did, and okay, I just heard after that that you I, you know when you created the event and that that I that I saw it was, and I thought it was a great idea. But to be really honest with you, it was like eh, I've got so much going on here that um, you know maybe I'll. I'll go and drop some food off for you, uh, to be a part of it that way. But yeah. um, then I was talking to you and Pam was kind of chirping in my ear about, I was asking you questions about your story and she was saying, didn't you watch a video? <laughs> and um, <laughs> so, so I went back and, and watched that video and I, I didn't know your story be, before that. And um, it was very moving and I, mm. Um, it's, be, it's because of that, I think, that, that I, I felt like, okay, you know what, we've got to make the bandwidth to try and, and help here, because I, it's, um, it's coming from, from such a, a, a cool place, and, it, and, it, and I think it, it can do so many people so much good that um, we've got to at least try and do what we can to contribute. And, you know, this, you've got to start somewhere. Uh, we'll collect whatever we collect this year. I can guarantee you there'll be 10 times that next year, and it'll, it'll snowball. And this yeah. will to a massive national thing in the end. I really believe that. And um, it was like, it's like with anything. It's like if, if, if somebody doesn't do it, then it, it, it's never going to happen. And I really, really commend you for taking a step to actually try and make it happen. Oh, yeah, I know. Honestly, guys, it, this has actually been really inspiring to us, Carol. Um, I was fortunate enough to have an opportunity to stand with you outside the dinner at the first Slow Carb USA and hear a lot of your story, but I had no idea that it had gone to the point where, you know, you were still trying to pay your rent and your food came from the food bank. Um, and to be perfectly honest with you, this resonates with me. Not a lot of people know my story unless you're really close friends of mine. Um, twice I've had really debilitating injuries that kept me from working. And 
fortunately enough, I didn't get to the point where I had to actually visit a food bank, and I didn't know what it was like at the food bank. Um, I had friends who invite me over to have dinner at their house, and they knew that I was struggling. Um, I had when just when I met Doug, I had debilitating foot pain that I had to stop working all of a sudden, and. There was no lead up into it really, there was no plan, and it was just before the crash of 2008. I could literally not walk from my bedroom to the living room. He tells a story, I used to crawl, and I had soft tissue inflammation that no one could figure out. Um, I would leave the house and try to figure out how I was going to drive to get to my doctor's appointments and try to time it so that my, my direction would be that I didn't have to use the clutch in my car. and. I would literally stop at Arby's on the way home and buy three or four meals so that I could put them in my refrigerator, and that was the cheapest thing that I could do at the time. I couldn't stand in my kitchen to cook, so it was takeout food, and I ended up eating a lot of cereal, and I had cereal with honey all over it, and I had the worst, I had the worst um, heartburn. I was only getting sicker and worse, and obviously my food choices were not helping me. Um, had I known more then, which is more about what we're trying to do, it goes along with our education, um, why we started our organization to help people who are sick, who aren't finding their way out, they're not getting information from their doctors, and their doctors aren't helping them find that information often. I mean, the more we provide continuing med medical education credits to our healthcare um, communities, the more they're learning about how nutrition can go in conjunction with maybe a physical therapy program or they're an endocrinologist and do they need to start on meds and then go. The mental health issue, I mean, talk about when you're in that situation, how depressed are you? You know? Right, right. Yeah. So yeah. When you're eating better, you're feeling better, you can move better. It all leads to healthier mental state, healthier um, healing, um, and recovery. So, you know, a year and a half ago, two years ago, we started this path to start sharing the low-carb message and help people start healing. That's been our biggest mission. So if we can contribute to spreading the message of prov and, and providing a way for people the opportunity to get this kind of food going to really make a big difference. And that's the whole reason why we started Low Carb USA to begin with, to make a difference in people's lives. So Yeah, and I mean, to be telling people to eat, to eat less carbs and all of that, but some people, like you say, can't, can't afford that. And so doing something positive and concrete to actually make that possibility, uh, make that a possibility for them, I think is a super cool idea. And so... So we've been we've determined that we're going to make the bandwidth for this no matter what, um, and uh, we've been away uh, until like yesterday. So we're a little bit behind you, but we we are going to catch up in a hurry. Um, so we've got we've got. Uh, oh, you guys! I I love you guys so much, and I just Doug, thank you for sharing that and you know what the you know making the time to watch that video and how that impacted you. Like I literally. Like, as you're talking about how much bigger it's going to be next year, like, you know, the tears are welling in my eyes. And I know that, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I haven't even really thought about it, like, how I hadn't told that part of my story, right? I tell the story of, you know, how, how keto healed me. But I, I don't tell the story of, like, how sick I really was. And, no. you, know, um, you know, at that point, I had two master's degrees. And here I am getting my food at the food bank. Like, how embarrassing is that, that I can't pull myself out of the bleep hole that I was in that like, you know, I couldn't even afford to buy any food. And, and so, yeah, it's, it's, it's time to tell that story and be totally transparent and honest that like, that's how sick I was. And most people don't even know that that's how sick I was. Like probably even a lot of my family didn't even realize that's how sick I was because it was like, Oh, you know, like unseen, you know, and, and frankly, very few people even came and visited me during that time. I was bedridden during that year and a half. Um, on two different occasions, a total of six months, just completely bedridden. And um, most people have no idea that I was that sick. 
and I do have some very close friends. Uh, Christian Curtis, for example, I know he will, he will say like, oh my God, yeah, I picked her up and took her to some of her doctor's appointments and like, she was a mess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I need to tell that story because, um, you know, who knows out there right now who's struggling at this time of the year and they feel like there's no options, right? Like um, food banks and food pantries, depending on where you're at around the country, whatever they call them, um, they're available and the barrier to entry to get help from them is so much lower than what you'd have if you want to go apply for like government assistance, right? Like um, it's much easier to get that help when you need it. And, um, you know, they're there for supporting and helping people. And so, you know, my, my goal with all of this is to be able to provide them with the resources and the food that they can help people in the healthiest way possible, right? Um, and I can't tell you, like, like you're saying, Pam, like when you're depressed and really sick and feeling really hopeless, um, and I'd have to bypass that entire wall of you know, feel good comfort food, pastries, and all the really expensive, you know, fancy desserts and things like that. Yeah. It's hard to do, but, um, you know, if we've got some more support about talking about how it can be so helpful to bypass those foods and then actually have enough food left in your cart that you know you're going to be, you know, full and satisfied, it's just, it's really important. And so I'm, I'm so glad that you guys are on board with this and that you're making that. And I have the same thing where I'm like, what am I doing? I need to be focused on my business and everything else, but it's like, it's just, it's really, really important. And this is the time of the year where people are in that giving spirit already. And, and yeah. um, it's, it's important. I got to make, I got to make time for it as well. Just like you guys said. So now you do. And, and you know, the second part of what you're doing and what we're doing with low carb USA, besides providing information for the kind of foods you should be eating to heal, it's building community and as we build community and people and people see that we're doing this for the right reasons and the reasons why we're doing it is to help people, we're going to build community. We're going to drive traffic back to your website. People are going to see you. People are going to come and see us. They're going to meet us at Low Carb USA San Diego next, the end of July. They're going to join Low Carb USA community page and they're going to get support. They're going to make friends. They're going to come to Florida and West Palm Beach in January. They can find out more about that on Low Carb USA on our Facebook page and on our website. They can go to Keto Carol and they can learn. I mean, you're, you're doing Facebook Lives. They can be on your Facebook page. You, you do podcasts with experts all the time. You answer questions. You ed spend a whole lot of time educating and you know you're not getting a dollar for doing a podcast you're not getting a penny for doing a podcast but we're all out there building communities and and educating people and along the way we get to make even more difference like doing this and you know tomorrow you asked what we're going to be doing tomorrow we have a lunch meeting with someone who wrote to us who was at our event last year as he was um asking questions a friend of ours denise arnson said you're a doctor in my local area who's treating diabetes with, and, um, and elderly patients and, el and patients of all ages with food and nutrition and diet. I want to know, are you taking patients and can I call you next week and make an appointment? And she did. He contacted, talked to, excuse me, he contacted us yesterday and said, I want to know more and I want to help more building local community in San Diego. We're going to go have lunch tomorrow. First, second... Third question, I don't know which question it will be, but can we have a donation site at your internal medicine practice? And, and yeah. he also was telling us that he works with a training program. I don't know how many there are. I don't know where their locations are. We'll find out more tomorrow. Can they have a donation box um, at their locations? And um, we're tapping into all of our local community. We do like you do. Um, you're just starting to do dinners and um, maybe once a month. We do them once a month in one location and once or twice a month in another location. One's in the southern part of San Diego County, one's in the northern part of San Diego County. We try to get it uh, so that it's uh, convenient for more people. Um, we're going to meet next week, Wednesday, at a local taco shop that we understand make cheese shells for their tacos. Oh, gosh, that's so lucky. Yeah, we're so gonna... that's just hearsay. We, we haven't yeah, seen we we haven't seen them, but we're going to go and find out. But, so, you know, okay. we'll... we'll that's where we'll have a lot of this conversation about uh, about getting this drive really going. Mm. And just to, talking about that, I know you've got an event on the 7th, and so you've got your 
uh, the drive event goes up until the seventh because you can only do two weeks or something. But uh, is it really going to end on the seventh, or is it going to end? What? 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 Uh, what where, where? And and we. I mean, we can keep. Yeah. We can keep donating, but when are we going to decide that the San Diego is the winner? <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it. Wait, June's saying uh, thank you all three for helping so many people and for educating health professionals as well so they can help others. Um, I have been both low carb USA conferences and learned so much. I am reading, oh, she typed a bunch. Um, I'm reading, oh my gosh, this is a great one. Um, I'm reading Keto for Cancer now after hearing Miriam Kalamian this year, speaking with her. We have many students with food insecurity. Yeah, food insecurity is what um, we're talking about, um, who live on bad carbs, which is terrible brain food, and yet most food banks offer the cheapest help, which is carb-based, or chronic health crises are destroying many lives. Thank you. Yeah, so so true. And um, yeah, so I, I love this. Okay, so yeah, I mean, the backstory is like, I, I planned our next dinner event thing November 7th 1st, and I thought, well, why don't we coordinate that with this food drive at the same time? And so then I thought, well, well, I'll go make a Facebook event and Facebook event only lets you make a, an event that's two weeks long. And so then I was like, all right, well, we'll just do it from the 24th, which was yesterday, through the 7th. Oh, and yeah. then, um, but then I was thinking like, well, but, you know, really it should go a little longer, at least up to Thanksgiving. And then, but why don't we make it out all the way till, you know, Christmas Eve on the 24th. And so I think what, what, so it's just growing and it's like we got to change and, and change what we're doing right so I, I what i see now is that, that our november 7th event will just be one more step in this event right yeah. it'll be another event to get together and help people come together and celebrate and, and draw awareness to this movement but also just you know low carb keto movement as well as this food drive and well that'll be another event for people to, sh to bring some food to um, and then I see this, let's keep, what do you think about keeping it up until like December 24th? Like, I love it. That, I think um, that's actually, I, okay. I think it's essential because, yeah. yeah. you know. Okay. And so what, what I'm going to do, somebody said, love you guys. Love, love you, you too, whoever. Oh, J Deep, it's J Deep is here. Hey, J Deep. Hi, J Deep. Oh my gosh. Hey, J Deep. Oh my awesome, goodness. awesome, awesome transformation there. Um, uh, oh, I love his photos, actually, his before and after face photo. That's really cool. Oh, how um, did he do that? Yeah, so, so, so the way that we can overcome, you know, the Facebook limitation of an event only being two weeks long is that, that I'm going to create a Facebook group. So it's going to be a, a keto food drive group. Yes. And so, um, yeah, so I'll leave that, you know, in the description here after we're done. And, and so those of you that are watching, and we'll start sharing that around as well so that we can have um, a whole group then so we can have this movement and um, drive until December 24th, but then it can be the same group next year, right? And, and this doesn't have to stop after this, um, you know, this holiday season. No, um, we keep can going. Keep going. Yeah, because I'm sure they, they and, 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 so. not having enough food in January, February, March as it's the stocks start going down. So we keep doing it. Right. Right, right, yeah. So I'll make this a, um, a Facebook group, and so then we can continue on, and we'll have this challenge, this, uh, uh, JD, hey, do you want to take on the India location? I want to make this a, a global um, global movement. So, JD, what do you think? You got a location down there that you could set up uh, um, a food drive in your local area? Um, I know we've got, so I, I did a, my first live on this, it was about a week ago, and I, I wanted Seattle to be the winner, right? And um, immediately, Amy Hayden and Elena Wang uh, took off with the Spokane location. So they set up eight locations for donations already in the Spokane area of Washington before I even had one here in Seattle. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, we gotta catch up, right? So Spokane is in Washington, but it's five hours east of us. So it's not really anywhere close to us, right? So they can have their own location. Okay, JD says yes, absolutely. Awesome. All right, so now we've just officially made this a worldwide uh, movement and j challenge. So JD, um, send me, um, once you figure out where the location is, like send me the location and we'll add it to the, the event page. And um, we'll put this in the group as well too. So awesome, this is this is really exciting. So JD is, is an example of somebody who is completely vegetarian following a low carb and ketogenic diet. And he's lost how much, like uh, 75 kgs, 150, 160 pounds. JD, what's your, uh, 
Anyway, What's your yeah. um your progress there? So, yeah. So, uh, oh, this is this is really done. <laughs> this is awesome, exciting. Um, it's now officially a global challenge. Yes. Um, and yeah. So, um, sixty-five kgs. So that's uh. How, how much is that? It's in, in, uh, like 143 pounds or something. And, yeah, and, yeah. Um, 143 pounds. Carol, on your YouTube channel, you did a wonderful interview with JD at Low Carb USA Breakout. Um, actually, you said, I want to interview a few testimonials. And more and more people came to sign up for telling their story, but more and more people came to sit down and watch. You said you had how many people? Yeah. A couple of us? I think at one point we had like 30 people sitting there watching the testimonials in that room. So yeah. I hope you, uh, we're doing that again next year, right? For sure. Oh my gosh. I would absolutely love to. Yeah, yeah for sure. Get a, we need to get a bigger room. Hey, Antonio, hi, Tony. Hey, Tony's watching. Tony, we need an East Coast representative for this movement. Um, and uh, so we just got India involved on the map. We've got Spokane. Uh, Doug and Pam are here representing San Diego. Um, I've just got my first two Seattle area locations on board today. Um, a couple of chiropractic offices in the, on the east side of Seattle here. So um, we've got Clear Chiropractic in Kirkland and Clear Chiropractic in uh, Redmond, Washington that are on board for our first Seattle donation sites. Uh, Tony is the man. Okay, so. Okay, so we got New York going uh, uh, can, can, can we go back? Um, I think we had New York, all right? Yeah, yeah. Is he still typing? Uh, now, so I've been, I've been tagging Danny, um, Danny Vega. Let me see if I can get him tagged here. I, I, uh, I know he's a busy guy, but um, I'm going to invite him right now. And okay, um, well, I know he's a busy that. guy, but that, that would be the other corner of the, you know, of the United States if we can get all the corners covered right now. So we've got Seattle and San Diego on the West Coast. We've got New York, um, and we need Florida. Come on, Danny. Um, and, and Tony says, um, Nutrition Justice League is assembling. <laughs> oh, I love it. And uh, we talked about this here in New York. Uh, did you go have a steak and red wine with, with Tony? That's uh, his signature uh, yeah, we dinner. Actually, we didn't have, we, he didn't manage to stay for dinner. We had, uh, um, we had food after that, but we met with him and Nina and talked about the, the whole advocacy efforts and stuff like that, the Nutrition Coalition and everything. Oh, you got to we meet her. That's event. so awesome. Yeah. I had a beautiful yeah. lamb, lamb dinner and the lamb sausage, Antonio, was the most amazing thing I've ever had. Um, and I forget what Doug had. I just had the, the ice. Aged burger. Aged burger. Really you know, whenever we're all eating out, a burger with no bun is the first go-to easy keto meal. Yeah. So, um, Mar I would like Mar to go back. If we have uh, two seconds, I'd like to go back. So, just below Kittle, when Sherry. J. Deep was talking, Sherry Kittle Ro uh, Rossiter joined us. She's from Heal Clinics. Um, oh yes, yes. Oh Sherry. So she's there. Yeah. Then, um, as we know, Eric Westman is doing amazing work with his. Uh, um, and out there has a Hill Clinic in North Durham. They're opening um, a new one as we speak, I think. And maybe it's already open in Virginia. We'll have to ask uh, our West Virginia, Northern Virginia. I forget. Sherry will have to type in quickly. And uh, she's up in Oregon. So she might start an Oregon group and uh, get Hill, Hill yeah. Clinic involved. Low carb. Oh, Sherry, I'm going to get you to. So Sherry comes up here. Um, to Seattle area too. Sherry, you got to come to our November 7th event. Um, that would be, hopefully you can come up during that time. That would be awesome. Yeah. So the, um, I'll just plug a little bit more about the November 7th event we've got here in the Seattle area. It's a um, keto Friendsgiving party and we're going to have um, appetizers, dry farm wines that are going to be sponsored by the Level Company that's here in Seattle. So they do the breath acetone um, meter here out of Seattle and they're going to be sponsoring dry farm wines at our party and as well as um, Rome Free, so the bison company out of Montana. Um, they're going to be um, donating and providing appetizers made with their bison that they grow, their, their bison ranchers. And, um, and uh, Sherry says Chesapeake area and soon. Okay. Um, 
And what else are we going to have? And uh, I think we're going to have a DJ as well. So it should be a really fun, good time at a really gorgeous uh, house that's in the Northeast Seattle area. So it's a private residence, but it's a, uh, it's a doctor's house. So it's pretty, pretty fancy and beautiful from what I understand. So um, hopefully you guys are going to be able to come up and join us for that too. So yes, um, we're really, we're looking um, for inexpensive flights and hoping that we can make it work. So we'll be letting you know soon whether we can make it up there. We want to meet up with the level people and um, yeah. go and see the science and everything that they're doing in their headquarters and their labs. We actually are very lucky to have two of the representatives down here in San Diego with us who often join our low-carb Italian dinners, uh, Lamont LaRue and, um, and uh, Andrea, who's traveling right now. Doesn't, re doesn't realize that October 24th wasn't the day to donate. October 24th was the day to start. So our two representatives okay. who are down here, local sales reps, they're going to get, I know we're going to get them really involved because they're really passionate about everything in this space. So when we, hopefully when we have our taco Wednesday next week at this new place, um, as many people who are in our San Diego community can come. Um, it's an inexpensive meal. They do cheese tacos, which we're really excited to try. Um, so we're going to yeah. kind of do an event for that. So if uh, we'll try to put out an, an event for that dinner, um, that will be the week before yours. And, um, and continue to do that whether people are just we're kind of thinking are people just donating where we don't necessarily have to stockpile all the food maybe they just measure the food that they're donating send it in on that community page tally we go to tally as they bring it to yeah. their local donation center or site or we're still looking at how do we find that site why don't you maybe carol give us a little bit of advice on oh yeah yeah well yeah, so um, I know here, like in the Seattle area, we have an organization called Northwest Harvest, which is mm -hmm. a, you know, a nonprofit that um, coordinates food donation and then distributes that to various, you know, places and food banks and things like that. So that's what I know here in the Seattle area. Um, I know that um, we had somebody from Kansas that um, I added it to the website as well, um, a local food bank that there that's there in Kansas. So I don't know, um, you know, it's probably just a matter of like uh, San Diego Food Bank or something like that and just f figuring out. We also have in the Seattle or the um, Seattle area as well, we have another organization called Hope Link. Um, I like another place that really, so that actually is our local food bank here in Seattle. And I know they get their resources from several places, like they get donations from Northwest Harvest, um, all the local grocery stores in our area here donate to Oak Link as well. So foods that are like close to expiration date or just a little bit past expiration date that they, they donate those. That's where a lot of those baked goods come in from local grocery stores. Yeah. And um, then there's also like local grocery stores that run like, you know, you can donate money to them as well. And then they package, usually it's like beans and lentils that they send off there. Um, and, you know, Hope Link here local in the Seattle area, they also provide a lot of, you know, housing, assist emergency housing assistance and um, electric bills and things like that. So when you're really struggling where like you got a month where you're short, you can't pay your electric bill um, or your, your rent, they, they also provide those services too. Um, and, you know, I'll admit that those were some other resources that we had to use um, during that time as well. And um, so, um, yeah, so I uh, all I all I would suggest is just you, anybody in the San Diego area, if you know, but it might be just like Google, uh, you know, San Diego Food Bank or um, you know, food pantry, whatever they call it, in your local area to find yeah. that. I don't know. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I think um, I know Tony Cohen was. I was talking with him. He's a, a very active especially in social media and, and he's based here in San Diego. So he was talking about f finding a few places um, to actually act as low carb drop offs, basically. Um, okay. So we can, as those become uh, available, we can start making people aware of where they can go. But I think what Pam was saying is if they can't make it to any of those, if they just go and drop it off at a, at a food bank um, mm -hmm. directly themselves, um, I don't know, just weigh it themselves, take a picture of it and submit it and we, and, um, we can count it into our totals that 
uh, eventually um, show that yeah. we win this thing. <laughs> You're, you don't, you have to decide, like, if the L.A. Uh, population pops up, but, you know, Chris Chris is watching right now. He's in the L.A. area. Um, Chris, uh, uh, if you, it, you can either. Which Chris? It's Chris, a different, it's a, Chris is a, it's a family, family member of a friend of mine, so I don't think you guys okay, know him. Not, not, um, not Chris from Keto Cookie. Um, no, no, so, not yeah, I mean, Chris. Oh, but we can tag them. Okay, but, but L.A., LA is like, I think you've got to be a bit more, um, uh, con a, a, bit, a bit more, what, what, what's the word? Um, Specific? No, no, just in terms of the areas, because LA is, is oh. different to Orange County, is different to uh, where we were, Pasadena with Bulletproof. Yep. Um, so yeah, if somebody wants to start um, something up there, I think, I'm sure Chris and the Keto Cookie guys will start something in Orange County. Um, but, yeah, uh, we need people in in other areas too. Yeah, yeah. So I love I love your idea. So um, I'm starting to have a list on my I've got a page on my website where I've got a list of all the local donation places. So if you're um, if you're a local business and you want to be a de a donation site where if you want to put out a box or a bin or something like that and collect those. Just reach out to any of us and let us know, and I'll add you onto the website. No matter where you're at in the U.S. or around the world now, because uh, now that JDeep is on board, we've got a location going to be set up in India as well. So whatever's Good closest night. to you, um, or if there isn't anything close to you and you don't want to, you know, be a donation site yourself, like um, like Doug was suggesting, just weigh the food that you're donating and and find your local food bank or or donation center, um, or even if it's um, you know, like this time of the year at any grocery store, they're going to have some kind of a bin that you can drop stuff in as well. So, you know, that's going to count as well. But the only way it's going to count is if you, you weigh it and, um, you know, brag about it, yeah. it in our, our group. Exactly. And then, exactly. and then say where you're counting it towards. <laughs> yeah, yeah right? Live, yeah. yeah, and it has to be in the city where you live. You can't donate it to, to someone else, right? <laughs> this is a popularity contest. Uh, if you live in Kansas, no, we have a Kansas site actually. So if you live in uh, Montana, um, uh, you can donate it on on by half of Seattle. No, just kidding. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, actually, I want to tag um, Kylie lives in. Speaking of Montana, Kylie lives in Montana. Um, oops, no, it, don't auto correct her name. I know what I'm spelling. What's his name? Uh, is it John? Uh, Brittany. They're, 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 um, yeah, yeah, they're on free guys. They're in Montana. They're in Montana. Yeah. So okay, I'm gonna invite Kylie and then um, Brittany as well. You're right, Brittany and John. Um, let's see if they're on right now. We got we got Montana. Whoa. We need Texas. So I'm gonna text. I'm gonna tag Steve and Melody Barons. Oh yeah, I've been trying to get. Uh, Texas people. That's so, um, Carrie Brown from Keto Evangelist Kitchen. She lives here in the Seattle area, and um, I did an interview with her a couple of weeks ago. That will be coming out um, as well on my my YouTube podcast. Um, but sh so I I proposed to her. I said, "Here's what I want to do. Do you want to get involved?" And then I said, "What about Brian Williamson of Keto Evangelist?" And she says, "She says if you." invite him she says he has so much stuff going on right now she says if you tag him i'm gonna kill you <laughs> but she says <laughs> she said reach out to um danny vega and mary um roberts and um and see if they can you know their their coaches can get on board so we've already got um elena wang that lives um in washington state here so she's kind of behind the whole um spokane area movement so she's a keto evangelist coach um and so we do have one little corner of their um, their coaches world out there, but I really see this as a way. I mean, there's a lot of um, you know discord and argument in the keto and low carb community about who's right and who's wrong and you know so and so and stuff like that. But I just I want this to be a way that we can all just we can all pull together, set aside any differences, and just really do this for a, a good cause. That's what I really see this as. And so um, this is not a you know, uh, competitive, it is a fun com competition, right? Because the more we compete, the more people are going to donate. Uh, but it's not meant to be like, you know, who's, who's the best, uh, 
best person or something like that, right? Um, no, and, and, and I like um, the way I like what you touched on it uh, in your original video that um, depending on the group that you're in, they're really leaning towards optimal health and really healing from a lot of diseases and. And optimal health will often be because they're eating grass-fed beef and they're limiting the certain kind of processed oils and they're only eating olive oils and coconut oils and, um, and cutting out no canola oils and no soybean oils, which limits the amount of salad dressing and mayonnaise um, that can, can be donated. We don't want to – a lot of those we can't do because they've got sugar added to them, so they won't be there, but – um, this is an education process as well. If you have to start somewhere, and I know um, Dr. Westman is really good at um, talking about just starting. He goes through the grocery store, he does a Facebook Live, and he'll say, like you had mentioned, a can of chicken, a can of tuna, a can of salmon, um, a can of shrimp, canned crab. Um, do you add a little bit of mayonnaise that still has a few things in it? Maybe that day it's okay. Um, maybe not every day. Maybe you just put olive oil on it. Maybe you add it to a salad because they've been able to get greens that day. But And a can of green beans. Maybe it's just that and a can of green beans. And um, whatever that is available to start with. It doesn't have to be perfect um, to start. And we've all started somewhere. So um, whether or not it's an expensive meats or it's a can of chicken, a can of tuna, and some green beans on the side. Um, yeah fun. okay so that's i don't is this going to be backwards can you even yeah it's backwards but so this is a po posted i have a note to myself you can hardly read it um this is a note to myself about something that's going to go in my book uh sidebar note like book sidebar note is what this says ketosis before quality right so um when your your goal is healing and health ketosis trumps the quality of the food and it so that's even what I walk my clients through is that if you want to start out with Hellman's or Best Foods mayonnaise that's got like all the vegetable oils and even some added sugar and stuff in it, that is going to be better. Like getting into ketosis is going to trump, you know, worrying about whether it's grass fed, locally raised, organic, uh, you know, avocado oil, all that kind of stuff. All that stuff isn't, is like fine tuning things. Um, yes. You're going to get most of the health benefits just getting the sugar and carbs, the refined carbohydrates out. Uh, yeah. Then, you know, if you have a bigger budget later on and you want to get the Primal Kitchen avocado mayo and you want to get grass-fed butcher box stuff, right, then then you can make that choice later. But that doesn't need to be a barrier for being able to heal your body. Like, you so, can exactly. get the, you know, the grocery store mayo and, and you're, you're going to get so many health benefits um, just from that and don't have to worry about, like, all the quality of the food. Um, you know, I think that's, that's actually yeah. a really important thing to stress there because um, I, I find like a lot of the paleo and keto and low carb communities are like just like a hammer on the has to be uh, grass fed and it has to be free range and all of that kind of stuff. And you know what? Yeah, if you can and you can afford it, then um, then please go for it. But that point. it absolutely should not be like if you can't do that if you can't buy uh, grass fed steaks and you can't do keto or you can't do a low carb or you can't be a part of this community it's it's so uh, i think it's very important to stress that that is absolutely not a barrier mm -hmm. yeah and it's really ab absurd right to think like well i can't afford grass fed i guess i gotta eat ramen noodles then like there it's just exactly. it's, it's not true at all and mm -hmm. you're gonna get you're going to get all the benefits of ketosis eating whatever you can get your hands on. And then if you need more fine tuning, you know, and I've seen that over and over again is that, you know, the healing benefits of ketosis or at least getting the, the crappy, I, I love Jimmy's term anyways, the crappy garbage, like getting that out of your diet, you're going to get most of the health benefits that most people need. And, and um, yeah, it's really a chasm out there. And I know that especially here in the Seattle area, um, you know, the, the whole focus is on, like, it's got to be the highest quality. It's got to be organic, and it's got to be grass-fed and locally raised, and the cows need to get a massage every day, and, and otherwise, like, it's terrible, and it's bad for your health, and it really, it, it just isn't true. <laughs> like, yeah, those things are important, but also, um, you've got to meet people where they're at, right? Most people are getting their food from the regular grocery store, um, and 
they're not buying organic stuff. Like, why are our grocery stores filled with that food? Because most people buy the regular stuff. And if you tell them they have to start out by buying grass-fed everything and ordering it from, I don't know, where's the most remote village in Thailand or something like that for all their food, then then you're just never going to get started. So, no. No. so a lot, then there's a lot of people who are going to need to shop at the food for less or you know if they're not yeah. if they're not at the point where they have to go to the food bank for all of their food stuff maybe they're doing part of it they still need to buy food at food for less and they have a grocery market outlet here i mean you can get a big bag of coconut flour there i can only buy a few things there but you can buy um oil and vinegar so that's something you need to add to your list if you haven't already um uh, apple cider vinegar I got, regular I got vinegar oil on there Vinegar. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't put any vinegar on there. Oh, that's a, I just, I actually just sent off, um, I, I got somebody on Fiverr to make a prettier flyer because I had a, uh, a flyer made that was just a food list, but I think it's important to actually put the, you know, event name and, and uh, dates on there as well. But no, there's no vinegar on there. So that's a good one too. But yeah. we'll see how much, I wanted to make it one-sided, right? So that people could just print that out or share it online. Um, and so it's a lot of food and more details to put on there too. So we'll see, we'll see what, what can all fit on there, but that's a good one. Vinegar too. Yeah. Oils and fats and mayo and coconut oil. Those are all really great ones. So anybody watching, you know, next time you go food shopping yourself, just buy a couple extra things that you buy that are in a jar or can, um, you know, so like things that can sit in your pantry without refrigeration is kind of what we're looking for. So um, um, you know, canned meats and tuna and salmon, um, seafood, those are all really great ones. Um, but a lot of the, the fats and oils as well that you're going to be buying, those are all shelf stable. Um, and uh, nuts and seeds, right? So like almonds and uh, walnuts and pecans and things like that. Those are all really good ones too. Um, what else? What else? Uh, I don't you know, mentioned, pulled up here, but you mentioned pumpkin seeds and those seeds, and then um, the canned vegetables. There's not a lot. There's a few of them, but they've got canned green beans and spinach, um, pickles and olives. Uh, were on your list. Um, yeah, yeah. Pickles, olives, uh, canned sauerkraut can come in a can too. Um, Sherry's saying thanks, you guys, for what you're doing. This is fantastic. I got to run, but I'll be in touch. Good to see you, Sherry. Sherry. <laughs> we'll be sharing um, it on our page and you'll be sharing it on your page. What do we, um, do we have any other ideas while we're here? Um, yeah, but the other, um, the other idea somebody had, um, I, I talked to Amy Hayden a couple of days ago and I don't know if you guys had a chance to watch her video or not, but she's running a recovery center, um, addiction recovery center out there in Spokane. And so she um, herself has a history with that and has used keto to heal herself. And now she teaches um, people at her recovery center about low carbon keto diet for, um, you know, for overall health and um, recovery support. And it's the two of those together, are just amazing. And yeah. so she was talking about like, you know, if you, if you're at a donation site and people have like whatever they want to donate, she said, go ahead and accept that as well, but just separate out like the, you know, the carby foods and don't count that in your total pounds of food collected, but still, you know, don't turn anything away if people want to donate stuff and they just don't quite understand this whole low carb thing. But so yeah. that's another suggestion is that whatever you get accepted and maybe, you know, put that in the, in, <laughs> um, but you can also help educate people too, right? So help them figure out like, um, you know, how to read the label, how to figure out whether it's got hidden sugar or starches in it and. And yeah, then I'll have the flyer ready to go so people have a list of things to choose too. So, hi That's Charlie really and important. Manny. Who was that? Yeah. Oh, just saying so hi to some more people that have joined us. So, oh, wonderful. Well, nice. awesome. Okay, so let me know when you guys get your official word of your first donation site, and we'll we'll get that up on the website. Be looking for um, the Facebook group that I'll create around this food drive. That's just going to be ongoing, but. Um, this challenge then officially goes through December 24th, 2017. And so we just officially on this uh, broadcast made it an international uh, worldwide food drive. We've got India on the map now. So we've got several locations in the United States and then we've got um, India as well. I, so I met um, 
Uh, did you meet Dr. Kuranta um, at your event? Yes, so, Dr. Kuranta. He won. He won a free ticket to come back next year. He brought his sons. Um, oh, that's awesome! He's a cardiologist, he's a cardiologist working yeah. in Argentina. He's a, he's a psychiatrist. A psychi oh, Ignacio was the son. Psychiatrist, um, yeah. and his dad yeah. and his brother came. Roberto is the dad, and he's the cardiologist. Yes. Okay. Correct. So yes, he's working. Um, a psychiatrist. Um, and I'd like to mention Georgia Ede here at the same time, Harvard trained psycho psychiatrist who was the first one at the Harvard uh, practice that she was at to be recommending nutrition. Uh, therapy as um, as an adjunct therapy, as you were talking about for mental health, for mental health um, helps with depression, anxiety. They're seeing it in all kinds of uh, beneficial ways for improved mental health, no matter what people are struggling with. So, um, yeah, go ahead and uh, tell me what you're going to say about Dr. Uh, Corenta and Ignacio. We'll go ahead and get well, it. Well, they're in uh, Argentina, so I'll reach out to him and see. Um, I'll sh I'll share this with him. He's not really on Facebook though, so but I'll share and see if um, we can get another international location. Yeah, we have our um, emails as well. Um, J Jim and Carol Warren just joined, and they're our friends in South Africa. Yes. So there's a big low carb community in South Africa. We have a lot of friends in South Africa. We're gonna have to start tagging them and getting okay, South Africa world. going because we've got some really passionate banters. They call it banting down in uh, yeah, South yeah. Africa. Um, the Noakes Foundation is very close. Uh, we're getting very close friends with the people running the Noakes Foundation. They can make this really big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, then we <laughs> then we get to really get a run run for it because they're gonna they have a big movement already down there. So they would uh, they would outrun us, but that's okay. You know what? Because it does. We want to win, but we also want the whole world to win, right? Exactly. Yeah. More. Yeah. So Even we'll have, more we'll so. We'll have to have a separate category for established foundations and no, no, <laughs> that they don't count. Well, they, have their, they can have their own category that they can win. We can have a first place in the U.S. and a first place in uh, each okay. continent. <laughs> Well, and I'm going to be going live with um, Jillian Zolos is in um, Canada. She's in north of Ottawa, Canada. Um, so we're going to be going live later today in about, well, planned about three hours or less. And so I'll see um, if she's on board with getting Canada on the map for a do donation site up there too. So Sounds good. That just reminded me. We've got a lot of friends in Canada as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. Dr. Um... All right. Anybody? Yeah, Dr. Um, St. Martin, there's uh, father and daughter sons in uh, outside of Toronto and Dr. Stacy Reason. Um, yeah. Okay, those are our first contacts in Canada. We'll be tagging them. Oh, Dr. Fong, what, at his, his, his office should be on, on there. Um, oh, we, can, we, can, uh, we can send him something too, for sure. All right. Just okay, we're going on about it now. It, maybe with your... You email your your database in one fell swoop, and we are actually. Thank going you guys to so much that. for supporting. We're going to do that today, probably. Thank you guys. Well, yeah, just an email went out to my database sharing your article that you wrote up today too. So that's really great. So, um, thank yeah. you so much for sharing that. It's got a link to my video that I did last week as well, kind of explaining my story, why I'm doing this, and um, and thank you so much for supporting this. Thanks for making time and.